in the beginning, it, it literally boggled my mind because I couldn't believe that there was any one extract that could do all of this. I mean, we're talking about cancer, multiple sclerosis, arthritis, AIDS. It, it just goes on and on and on. In McCann, Nova Scotia, this oil is gaining a reputation as a miracle drug. That's the cure right there. Oil extracted from marijuana plants. Rick Simpson has been making it and giving it to friends and neighbors. He calls it hemp oil. The reason I'm treating it with hemp oil is because I, I looked at a, a video just recently called Run From The Cure by Rick Simpson. You know, when you see cannabis crops like this, you know, in the future, this, this will make so much difference, you know, to this country and to the whole world. You know, once they realize the healing potential that's right there in front of us. You're familiar with using a cannabis oil prepared via the Rick Simpson protocol? Well, to the best of my understanding, uh, this protocol leads to high doses of THC in the oil. And a groundbreaking study has surprising results. It says the active chemical in marijuana kills brain cancer cells. The study suggests that THC causes brain cancer cells to essentially eat themselves. In both studies with mice and humans, tumors exposed to the drug shrink. There's then the second issue of uh, legalizing marijuana, whether it's medical marijuana or recreational use. I don't care if, the, if this medicine comes from a tomato plant, a potato plant, or a hemp plant. If the medicine's safe and, and helps and works, why not use it? For Rick Dwyer, it's an emotional uh, issue. Uh, One of the testaments to hemp oil's healing power is his father, a military veteran suffering from lung cancer. They said I was going to die in 24 hours, but I didn't. So I took the oil and everything worked out right. I told the RCMP this whole thing and I asked them, I said, I would like for you to, to give me any of the potent bud material that you get when, these, when you're confiscating these, these raids you do, when you do, do these confiscations, could you give me the, the, the bud to work with so I can make more medicine for the people? Three months later, in early August, the same detachment that I had taken all that information to, they came in and raided me. A Nova Scotia man who some believe has the cure for cancer is now facing drug charges. They charged me uh, with cultivation, uh, possession, and trafficking. I really don't know of any medical condition that this extract is not of benefit for. And I've never seen anything that the pharmaceutical companies give us that even begins to have the healing powers that these extracts possess.